Greetings everybody. So today we're going to talk about a quick tip that uh, I used to teach in one of my classes where we were talking about uh, how to manage system jobs, um, kind of more of the common things that we do. Just a quick tip for today. So my name is Mitch Milam. You can reach me in any of the ways here uh, or leave a comment below if you want to need some more information or if you had a uh, suggestion for anything else, um, another topic for another video or something like that, reach out to me and uh, drop me a line. Also check out my courses on xrmcoaches.thinkipic.com. I've got the JavaScript and then everything I know, you, I know and, uh, about um, model-driven app design. So check out those two things. And after that, let's get right into it. So the um, system jobs still have to be managed from the legacy interface. And that's just um, from here, from um, settings and then system jobs just shows you the list. And uh, I tried to get it added to the uh, sitemap for uh, my application, but it didn't seem to come up as an entity. So it's just one of those weird kind of semi-protected, semi-visible things that uh, the Dynamics has uh, built inside of it. So uh, the first thing we're going to do here is just uh, click on the advanced find. And it's going to come up with a default query, which just says, just show me normal things that I want to see. And we're going to add in another filter here for message. Um, the message field will always be blank unless the uh, job has an issue. So just so you know, um, if you ever look at uh, some of these things, let's just go ahead and do it and we'll see what happens here. So what I'm going to look is um, if it contains data. And then I'm going to save that as system, all system jobs with messages. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put admin at the front just for giggles. Make it stand out a little bit more, even though we're probably the only people going to be running this. So save that and bring it up. Okay, so that worked. Now I'm going to go back to edit columns. And I'm going to add my message column there. Oops. And then I'm going to make it 300 because it's usually full of stuff. And since I'm spastic, I'm going to save that and then do it all over again. Okay. So as I was starting to say, um, these are blatantly obvious. These failed. Now, failure does not always show up as a failure. A lot of times when you see waiting for resources, it's one of two things. One, it is waiting for a resource. Or two, um, this new one which popped up, which is waiting for retry due to error. Okay. And if you look at this, it will show up, okay, uh, cannot find record to be updated. What about this one? That is um, letter with, letter does not exist. Let's find some other things kind of interesting. Another one does not exist. Or one of these up here. Update lot field. Basically, the lot has a... a a, a length of 100 and I tried to shove uh, more than 100 characters into it so it will not do that it won't truncate automatically it just fails so this means I've got to check out some of these errors here okay so basically why you see that the status reason of failed means it blatantly just stopped did not did not work and then the other thing is you'll either see waiting for retry or waiting for resources I think this may be a new change here and if you open it up and expand the detail you'll see all the text that I have shown up there so this one is okay that failed there if I go to the details could not find the record to be updated which could be could be fine I mean that could be a, a legitimate thing something happened and the, the, this is actually a workflow as you can see and so what happened is probably deleted it and uh, uh, this is basically was basically just updating uh, because uh, of some other process we have. So maybe I need to relook at my processes. But anyway, so this is how you see things that um, uh, have messages, which means there are errors. So we're going to do one more modification of this one. And what I'm going to do is the completed on. I think I'm completed on. Maybe let's do maybe it started on. Yeah, let's do started on last x months and x would be one and i'm going to save this one with a slightly different name and 
when I run this, I only see a few things here. Now, to be quite honest, I went and cleaned out a bunch of my stuff the other day when I was working on things, uh, just uh, system maintenance. Um, maybe I'll get into that one day in a different video. But the idea here is if you have a systemic problem, uh, it's going to show up continually. Um, so uh, if it shows up, you can you know track it down. It'll show up all the time. If you don't have a systemic problem, which means it repeats itself, a lot of it is point in time. So Microsoft has a glitch with Azure, like they do all the time, right? And something weird happened on the back end for two hours until they fixed it. And then what that's going to do is it could produce a lot of system jobs that fail or run into issues and things like that because a resource that it expected is not there, you know, for lack of a better term. And since it's not there, it's going to cause an issue. And while um, it's temporary, it's not really worth your time going into because it doesn't show up uh, more than, you know, just that one instance. So if you start looking back past 30 days, in all honesty, you can't fix it. I mean, it's 30 days ago, you know, so if you can't fix it, there's no reason wasting your time on it. Again, if it's systemic and it shows up repeatedly, then, you know, okay, then that's something, okay, I see this over and over again, like, like uh, you know, the first month this happens, okay, well, maybe there's a workload issue or something is going wrong or, you know, something's happening. But if it's just a one-time thing, it's probably not worth, worth your time investigating because it's just, you know, you, after a while, you kind of get to know your system and you get to like, oh, here's this thing again popped up. Um, so let's, let's figure this out. Or it's, you know, we had that failure the other day within the, the, the ecosystem somewhere because remember everything is related to everything else these days. So having one issue in one platform or system is going to have a repercussion over another one. So anyway, so um, these two jobs will, or sorry, these two views will help you um, kind of maintain stuff. You can look at these on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, whatever uh, you're whatever your organization uh, deems is necessary. Um, but again, a lot of times, uh, this, is, this is just FYI type of information. Uh, your main gauge is going to be if people start complaining. So that's really and truly it. So anyway, just a couple quick views to help you uh, with your system job maintenance. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.